Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class again. Here we have another math challenge. Here we go to learn some tips in mathematics, some tricks in mathematics. And look at the questions here. We have three equations. Uh, this is an Olympiad math challenge. Um, the question reads, x to the power of 3 plus z to the power of 3 equal to y is our equation 1. Then, y to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3 equal to z equal to equation, sorry, it's our equation 2. And our equation 3 is z to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 equal to x. This is our equation 3. We are given a condition that x, y, z belongs to a set of real numbers. So how do we solve this? Sit back as I take you on this smooth journey. Again, if you've not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe, okay? So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we take our solution. Now, the first thing we want to do here is this. I want to subtract equation two from equation one, okay? So let's subtract equation two from equation one. This will now give us here, our equation one is s to the power of three plus z to the power of three minus our equation 2 is y to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 3, right? Close bracket, equal to our y minus z. So let's go ahead and open up this with this minus sign. So we have here s to the power of 3 plus z to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3, then minus x to the power of 3 equal to y minus z. Here we have your s to the power of 3 plus of it, and here we have minus of it. So this and this leaves the system. We're left with our z, okay, to the power of 3, then minus y to the power of 3, then this side we have here will be y, then minus z. So what we do next here now, look at this expression we have here. We have a special algebraic identity for this, remember? Remember the algebraic identity which says that if you have your a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to our a minus b close bracket, bracket open our a to the power of 2 there, plus our a b plus our b to the power of 2 close bracket. You remember this? Okay. If you don't remember this, there, grab this in your head now. Now, if we look at this expression we have here, now same thing we have here. So let's rewrite this expression in this format here. Okay, so rewriting this, this is going to give us here, or oh, this now implies, go to have our z, the minus our y, close bracket, then into our z squared, then plus our z, y, then plus our y, r squared, close bracket, everything equal to our y minus z. Easy. Okay. What we do next here is easy. Let's move this term to this left-hand side of the equation. Okay? So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. So like I said before, let's move this to this side. This is going to give us here our bracket z, then minus our y, close bracket, then we have here z squared plus our z y there plus our y squared, then minus everything here we have y minus z close bracket equal to zero. Okay, so let's look carefully and see what happens here. Look at this expression here. We are having z minus y, but here we are having y minus z. I want to twist it now, okay? I want to move this to this side. Automatically, it's going to give me plus, I will change this to plus, and new y, this will now turn to z minus y. Any confusion? All right, so look at it here. So we're going to have here z minus y plus bracket bracket z squared plus z y plus y squared plus bracket plus the bracket our z the minus y, close bracket, equal to this. This has not changed anything. If you look at this, I can bring this out. Or if I use this to open this, this will give me plus. 
Look at the plus we are having here now. Okay? And this will be minus. Look at the minus we are having here now. Clear? All right. Now we now discover we have this and this common. So I'm going to factor this and this out from this system. So this might give us z minus y close bracket bracket. If I use this to divide everything here, I'm left with this. So I now have z square plus z y plus y squared close bracket plus. If I use this to divide this, I'm left with one. So let's apply a square bracket here. Everything equal to zero. Easy. I can open up everything inside this place here now, right? So we have this to be z minus y close bracket bracket z square plus z y plus y squared then plus one then equal to zero. So here we apply what we call the zero product rule. Remember the zero product rule, right? We say that a dot b equal to zero. It also implies that our a equal to zero, b equal to zero. So it means this would be equal to zero. This would be equal to zero. Okay. So this now implies that our z minus y equal to zero. There are, we have our z squared plus z y plus y squared plus one equal to zero. Good. So we're having two cases here now. So case one, we have our case one. This is z equal to what? Y. Let's give this equation star. Wow, this equation is going to play a very vital role in solving this challenge. So we take our case two. Our case two we are having here, our z, so case two, let's take this, our case two. So we're having z squared plus z y plus y squared plus one equal to zero. So since we have this equal to this, so wherever we see y, let's put in z there. So this will now give us z squared plus, here yeah, it's going to be z times z to give us z to the power of 2 plus y will be replaced by z there plus 1 equal to 0. Then z plus z plus z will give us 3z squared. So we have here 3z to the power of 2 plus 1 equal to 0. Now, I suspect there's no solution here, okay? This is going to give us imaginary roots. But if you want us to try that, let's just go ahead and solve this quadratic equation. Move this to the side of the equation. So we're going to have 3z to the power of 2 is equal to minus 1. Okay, let's just solve this here and see what this gives us. Divide by 3, so we have z to the power of 2 is equal to minus 1 all over 3. Take the square root of both sides, so we're going to have your z is equal to the square root plus minus in minus 1 all over 3. We all know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So we can bring the iota into the system here. So this will now give us z is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 all over 3. Iota. Now let's look at the condition we are given here. Look at this. It said x, y, z belongs to a set of real numbers. And so here, no solution. No solution from here. So this one is rejected. So if this one is rejected, so this is the only thing that will hold water as far as this expression is concerned. So let's keep this. Now let's look at this again. What do we do next again? Let's subtract equation two from equation three. Okay? Let's continue on this side of the board. What is our equation three? We have z to the power of three plus y to the power of three, then minus bracket our y to the power of three, plus s to the power of 3, close bracket, this will now be equal to x minus our z. Easy. So from here, we open up again to give us s to the power of 3, plus y to the power of 3, minus y to the power of 3, minus s to the power of 3, equal to x minus z. This, this will leave the system, right? So we now have s to the power of 3 minus, sorry, z to the power of 3 minus s to the power of 3 equal to x minus z. Now, let's take a good look at this. Again, let's apply our algebraic identity, which is difference of three cubes. So we have here, we're going to have z minus x close bracket, bracket, our z square, then plus our 
x z the plus our x square close bracket everything will now be equal to x minus z again move this to this side so we have z minus x close bracket bracket z square plus x z the plus x squared close bracket minus bracket x minus z equal to zero please okay so let's look at this what i did the other time here we are having this this i want to move this to this move this this way automatically this sign will change to um a plus sign and there we have this similar to this okay so this will now give us z minus x plus bracket there's a square the plus x z plus x square plus bracket the plus here yeah, bracket our z then minus x plus bracket equal to zero so if we factor this out here yeah, we can factor this out right yeah so let's go ahead and factor this let's continue on this side of the board again so if we factor this out we're going to have our z minus x plus bracket bracket here we're left with z squared plus our x z then plus x squared plus bracket plus one then equal to zero let's put this in a square bracket like we did the other time then we're going to have this this bracket bracket the bracket our z squared plus x z plus x squared um okay x squared the plus one equal to zero now if we apply our zero product rule again we go to um encounter the issue we had where we did the other time okay so from here we take from our case one so from our case one from here we're going to have our z minus x is equals to zero so it tells me that our z is equals to x let's give this equation star star now you remember equation star it says that y sorry z is equals to y if we are saying z is equals to y from equation star and equation star star is telling us that z is equals to x what does that mean does it means or it implies that our x x is equal to the y which is equal to z so let's give this equation star 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 so we have three equations now now again if you look at this expression here you discover that this is going to give us imaginary root and we don't need that so how do we get the extra value for our x y and z we're going to do something here all we just need to do is to pick any of the original equations either equation one equation two or equation three so what do we do with it it is easy so let's take equation one so from equation one from equation one we have that our x to the power of three there plus our z so this z to the power of three equal to y look at our equation star 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 so we can put in our um y's here put in our z here or either of them so let's change everything to x so this implies s to the power of three plus here will be also what s to the power of three here will be also what? x so we now have two x to the power of three then equal to what x bring this this way to have two s to the power of three minus x equal to this then factor out x out so this will now give us here two s to the power of two minus one equal to zero okay so let's continue this part here okay so we can now apply the zero product rule again so this will now give us x will now be equal to zero so if x is equal to zero so this now implies that we have zero 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 so x is zero y zero z zero that is the first root the first solution to this so we have to solve for case two case two we are having two x to the power of two equal to let's move this to this other side one so divide by two to give us x to the power of two is equal to one all over two take the square root of both sides so we're going to have x is equal to our square root we produce our plus minus we all know that 
1 all over 2. And this could be written as x is equal to plus minus 1 all over the square root of 2. So what there will now be the values of x, y, and z? So let's just clear here and go write it out perfectly. So in all, the values of our x, y, so we have here x, comma, y, comma, z is equal to, we have 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma. The other one, we have the first one, let's take the positive one. So we're going to have here 1 all over root 2, comma, 1 all over root 2, okay, comma, 1 all over root 2. And the negative one, comma, is going to give us here 1 all over root 2 minus of it, uh, comma, minus 1 all over root 2 and minus 1 all over root 2. Okay. Wow. So these are the three, three roots that will satisfy this math only paired equation. Okay. So if you learn something from this video, give this video a thumbs up. Or you have any question with regard to the approach I applied in solving this math only paired challenge, leave it in the comment section. We are good at reply to comments. Again, this is all I must TV and my name is Remagix Anemo. I love you so much. Not only me, those behind the camera, they love you so much too. Okay? Thanks for being there all the time. Bye. More questions will be released. Bye. For the now.